Welcome to Crimson Tide Connection, your home for Crimson Tide Sports. And I'm joined once again by the head coach of the Alabama baseball team, Mitch Gaspar. Coach, thanks for joining us. You bet. Coach, you've opened up the season on a great start, but this weekend you travel down to Boca Raton, Florida for your first road series of the season to take on Florida Atlantic. Can you kind of just give us a preview of that series against them? Sure. Well, you know, for starters, it's our, our first trip on the road. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, just from a preparation standpoint, we've got to make sure we – all the guys understand this is a working trip for us and we got to stay in a good frame of mind. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Florida Atlantic's a really good ball club. And uh, typically, you know, teams in South Florida are a little ahead of the curve, you know, in the front part of the season right. because of the weather. So, uh, you know, we saw last year they're a tremendous ball club. Mm -hmm. They've got uh, picked to win the Sun Belt Conference again this year. So uh, it'll be a real challenge for us this weekend. Because what can you take away from that series against them last year? Or is their team changed a lot since then? Or they kind of kept some of the same guys? Well, they, they return, uh, I believe, seven starters, you know, on their on the pitch position and they have two of their weekend starters returning they did lose a couple of their bullpen guys that were key pieces for them last year so uh, you know in this part of the season it's more about what we do mm -hmm. and our preparation right. and how we attack you know what we, we want to do and be our best you know for that mm -hmm. weekend so uh, although you know it's really nice to get on the road that time I, I think it helps us evaluate where we're at at this time in the second week of the season so as I said, it would be a real challenging trip for us, but a, a trip we're looking looking forward to. As we were talking earlier, hopefully it will be better weather than what you had here this past weekend. It was pretty cold, so hopefully it's going to be nice down there in Boca Raton. Yeah, it should be, you know, as the forecast looks like it's going to be in the in the 80s and, and uh, good weather to play baseball in this weekend. Very nice. Well, Coach, you had some freshmen and some other guys step up this past weekend position-wise. Can we expect any changes this coming up weekend, or are you kind of pleased with what you've seen so far? Well, obviously we were encouraged with what we mm -hmm. saw of the weekend. I think, you know, you'll see very similar lineup-wise as far as position uh, players go. And what we like to do early in the rotation is give some guys opportunities on those Friday, mm -hmm. Saturday, Sunday. So uh, I think we'll start the same three guys. And, uh, you know, Sullivan, Keller, Turnbull, it'll just be where we want to, you know, slot those guys right. in for each start. So. Uh, but it'll be a very similar look. Obviously, we had good success this weekend uh, with the lineup and, and the matchups. And so we'll stay pretty uniform with what we want to do next weekend. As you said, you know, you kind of got your three guys that you got starting. It's just kind of where you put them in, right? Where you yeah, and that's, you know, it's just kind of an evaluation, an early season, preseason evaluation. Obviously, we like to have our, our rotation set, you know, as we mm -hmm. get into SEC play. But uh, there's still a lot of competition going on after one right. weekend. So uh, we want to see how guys respond in certain situations. And, you know, a guy who's pitching on Tuesday now could end up being a weekend starter for us, you know, in another week or two. So it's all about competition. It's all about, you know, you're mm -hmm. always battling trying to hold your spot. And that's when you have good depth and you have good players, that, that's always something that in the back of their mind, they, they have to perform to keep their spots. Mm -hmm. It's competition, and that's good, right? That's what you want as a head coach is competition throughout your team. Well, I'm sure, Coach, you'd be glad for any fans that are in the Boca Raton, Florida area to come out and support the Tide. But if you can't be there, you can listen to the first game on Friday night at 5.30 on Tide TV at RollTide.com. And the game on Saturday at 3 and on Sunday at 12 will be broadcast on local radio. Coach, good luck this weekend and down in Boca Raton. I'm jealous. Sounds like you're going to have some great weather down there. I appreciate that. Thank you. For head coach Mitch Gaspard, I'm Chris Freeland reporting for the Crimson Tide Connection.